Welcome to a brand new vlog, you guys. It is currently about 6.15 in the morning and we just made it through customs at the Toronto airport. So now we are waiting to wait for Orlando because we are going to Disney World. As you can already tell from the title of this vlog, we had a red eye flight. My mom dropped us off at the airport. Thanks for the ride. You're welcome, be safe. See you. And then we stopped and got chilies. And now we are basically just waiting. I do not know what is going on with my skin, by the way. It is clearly not very happy right now. It was like this before I got on the plane, though. But James is currently trying to sleep. I don't think he really slept at all on the first plane. So he is super tired. So I'm just letting him do his thing. Look who's awake. You ready to get to Orlando? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have made it to our room. I messed up a little bit already. As you saw, we took the Disney Magical Express, which is their transportation from the airport. And basically, they have like a luggage service where they collect your luggage for you at the baggage claim. And I didn't realize that if we let them collect my suitcase for us, that it wouldn't be on the bus with us. So our plan was that as soon as we got to our hotel, I was just going to take my beach bag out of my suitcase and we were gonna go straight to the water park. They can track your suitcase and when we checked in, they did say it was already on its way. So fingers crossed it is going to get here soon and we can still stick with our original plan. If it gets to be a little bit too late, it's not really going to be worth it to go to the water park, but that's okay. We still have some like free days where we're not in the parks that we can choose to go then. Got our magic bands though and I'm really excited and they also gave me my little happy birthday pin since it is my birthday on October 4th. Also, I'm wearing my new Try Guys hoodie and I'm obsessed with it and the girl who checked us in at the front desk said she liked my Try Guys hoodie, so I was really happy about that. Anyways, while I wait for my luggage, here is a little overview of our room. We are staying at All Star Music. Last time we were here, we stayed at All Star Movies. So, change of plans, we did not make it to the water park. My luggage took a really long time to get to us, so we ended up taking a very long nap and now we are just going to go swim at one of the resort pools. Say hi. You hi. haven't even officially really been on the vlog awake. <laughs> Just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, we're so tired. Are you excited to go swimming though? Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So we're all done at the pool and now we're at the boardwalk getting some dinner. <laughs> Mac and cheese bites. <laughs> Matzo sticks. It's been a fun day. Oh, my camera's steaming up. Good morning, guys. It is day two, and we are officially off to the parks for the first time. Our first day, we are doing Animal Kingdom, which I'm really excited yeah. about because it's my favorite park. My camera lens is fogging up a little bit, but it is like 7.30 in the morning, so we're gonna try to get there a little bit before the park actually opens and try to go straight to Pandora. Go for it. 
made him mad. So the line for Flights of Passage is already really long, so we're gonna try and go on the Navi River journey instead, since we have the Fast Pass later anyways. Pandora is pretty insane though. The floating islands are so cool. Oh, look at those. We're having a super nutritious breakfast this morning. We're sharing a Mickey pretzel and we've got our Starbucks. I got a mango dragon fruit refresher and James has got his classic double chocolate chip frappuccino. So we are going to the Up A Great Bird Adventure. This is like their live bird show and we missed this last time we were here so I'm really excited. Hello adventurers and explorers. Welcome and namaste. In my time here I've learned to interpret the bird's natural behavior, but I came here some time ago because it was always a dream of mine to be a caretaker to the amazing and exotic wing creatures from places all over the globe. So what do you say? Would you like to meet more of my friends? Yeah. Awesome! Well, it looks like they might be just as eager to meet you. We have this beautiful guy right here. This is Quetty, and Quetty is a milky eagle owl. my first ears of the trip. I've been waiting to get these donut ears like all year since I saw them on social media. I'm not actually really going to wear them today because they don't really go with my outfit, but they're super cute and I wanted to put them on for a little bit. And check out what I got. And James also got this little magnetic group that sticks onto his backpack and it's so cute. But he's so worried about losing it. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna fall off. I think you're good. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but I will wait momentarily just to remind you guys of some quick safety reminders. Now all of those last seat selections should have been done at the warden's post. We are entering through the side of the river, better known as the Safi River section, home to some of the more aquatic regions here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. If you're too far left of this pool section to the right, please make sure not to stand up. There is a second pool after the entire curvature out. Where the water does initiate here towards that right hand side, you are going to spot the Nile Hippopotamus. For those of my friends on that right hand side, oh, and my right hand side only, the Nile Hippopotamus can actually withstand six to eight minutes at a time it's without like taking a single breath of air. Now these are the Nile Crocodiles. The Nile Crocodile can grow to be 16 to 20 feet long. They will consume 
assume animals are much larger than their size, and that's because they have very powerful jaws to do so. Towards that right-hand side, you are going to spot the baobab tree, oftentimes referred to as the upside-down tree, as its branches do resemble roots. Now, if you take a closer look at its trunk section, it does have punctures made into that trunk region. That's because the African elephant can puncture through to take a quick sip of water. Although the tree may look lifeless, it actually does contain uh, water in its trunk, and it is referred to as the tree of life, which may seem very familiar if you were over at the Discovery Island today. The beautiful tapestry of nature you guys are currently viewing would have been very similar to what some of the Disney animators for The Lion King might have seen 25 years ago. And you could probably fit the entire Magic Kingdom in the Harambe Wildlife Reserve and still have a couple of acres left after that. <laughs> My favorite ride. Is it your favorite too? Uh, in all the parks? Yeah. One of them. <laughs> it's hard to choose. I gotta do them all again before I can decide. damning evidence that yetis exist. Scared. <laughs> okay, so we're having lunch at Restaurantosaurus, and I have the vegan Southwestern burger, which looks really good. And James got the bacon cheeseburger. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> So I just want to say that Sarah is like a hero for getting up at 5 a.m. whenever she did to get a fast pass for this ride because she saved us about two hours in line. Over two hours. Two and a half hours. Yeah, at least. <laughs> so we're pretty much ready to wrap up our day here. We just had dinner and now we're going to see probably my favorite spectacle here. I know I said earlier I don't know if I have a favorite ride, but this is my favorite show, I guess. I don't know what they call the show, but it's basically a bunch of projections on the tree of life here. And last time I saw it, it absolutely just blew me away. So I'm really excited to go see that.
lighting is really bad here, but it is day three and we are headed to Magic Kingdom. But first we are having some breakfast at our hotel and it is a Mickey waffle day for me anyways. James has these gigantic pancakes and bacon and he had sausage, but I guess he ate it already. Working on them. <laughs> I'm really excited for these waffles. So we just barely made it to our first pass pass of the day with minutes to spare. And we are going on Space Mountain. I'm very sweaty and very out of breath. <laughs> James is there looking at welds as usual. So we're in line for James's secret true favorite ride, which is It's a Small World. He loves it, he can't get enough. He begs me over and over to go on it, and I'm like, fine, just because I love you. From you. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. Okay, so last time we were here, we had a fast pass for Splash Mountain. But when the time came, we were pretty far away, and honestly, I just didn't really want to get wet. So we didn't use it, and James has been bugging me about it for like two and a half years since the last time we were here. So we got fast passes for Splash Mountain on both of our Magic Kingdom days. And unfortunately, it is time. Time to get soaked, probably. Look at that, even the drop is really scary. It's I hope, not that bad. I hope you're excited. I am. And I've that you love me. Years. <laughs> yeah, literally like two years and eight months. Okay, James is getting our little waterproof action cam ready for Splash Mountain. Hopefully the footage is turning out. If it is, you've already seen some from when we were swimming the other night. But I wanted to show your shirt really quickly. O O T D. So James is wearing his hashtag sleepy shirt. I'll try and link it down below for you guys. And then I am wearing my new mini ears today. And then I'm also wearing, this is hard to show, but I'm also wearing this Minnie Mouse romper that is black on the top. And then it has the polka dot shorts and they have pockets. Is the drop right here? I don't think so. We don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I don't it's like not that bad. Are you excited, Terry? No,
good, but it was a scary drop, and I had my eyes closed. It was awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm in a group on Facebook called Veg Disney, and I've also liked a page called Vegan Disney, and everyone raves about this plant-based slaw dog from Casey's Corner and Magic Kingdom, so I'm really excited to try this. Just for the record, I tend to eat mostly vegetarian on vacation, but obviously, if there is a vegan option, I'm going to try it. And right now, actually in a couple days, Disney is adding vegan options to all of their menus, which is really exciting. A lot of places do already have vegan or plant-based options though, but I'm gonna dig into this. We also got the mint julep lemonade. Now the point you were here Mike. The point you were here saying Wazowski. Let's try. Wazowski. Do you know what we call this? The Mike Chat. <laughs> Sorry, Mike Chat. It's good, we're gonna need that energy to power all of Mon's problems. You've got the urge to get up and dance, sir, don't fight. Your ears to get up and dance. We got music for you. All right, that was great, sir. Except for the whole get up part. All right, you guys. Now on the count of three, let's all say start the show, Roz. One, two, three. Start the show, Roz. See that giant canister? That's where we collect your laughter. The more you laugh, the more power we collect. The less you laugh, well, we may not have enough power to open the exit doors. Hello, humans! Very <laughs> good! I'm Mike Wazowski. That's Wazowski with one eye. <laughs> got the Le Fou's brew from Gaston's Tavern. It's a frozen apple juice with toasted marshmallow infused in it, but it is vegan though, and it has a mango and passion fruit foam. You wanna try it first? All right, try some of the foam first. <laughs> the foam's good, I already oh, liked really it. sweet, yeah, yeah. Fruity. <laughs> That's interesting. I, I like it. Do you taste the marshmallow? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Mmm, that is good. It's it's kind of like caramelly almost. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to pinpoint it. Mm, yeah, that's good. I think we should get two when we come back from Magic Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. It is day four and we are having our water park do-over day today. We are headed to Typhoon Lagoon shortly. I'm gonna leave my vlog camera here and we're going to switch back to the action camera. But I think we're both very excited. Yeah. I love swimming. We've been swimming basically every night. We've been here every day. Right? We're going to a pool every day, hey? Yeah. Yeah, it's been nice. I'm wearing this dress. I've been using this. It's got really cute sleeves. I've been using this as like my bathing suit cover because last time I was in the mountains, my actual bathing suit cover ripped, which I'm really sad about, but I had it for like three years, so it was probably overdue, and it's from like Old Navy. But I've already got my swimsuit on because we're about to go grab breakfast. I want to show you guys my sunglasses really quickly. These are from a brand called Thomas James LA. They sent me four different pairs, and these glasses are $19 US, I believe, 19 or 20 a pair, and they are such good quality. Like they're really similar to my higher end glasses that I have and they all come with a really nice case and matching lens cloth. Not sponsored by the way, just wanted to share, but I just bought one pair, but they are these really cute light pink frames and I have been loving wearing them. This is what they look like on. I can't remember if I have a discount code for this brand, but if I do, I'll put it in the description box down below. But either way, these sunglasses will be linked. Like I said, they're $19, so they're really affordable. <laughs>
So that is basically where I'm going to end this vlog, but don't worry there will be a part two coming Basically going to start it as soon as I finish this clip But we had a ton of fun at the water park yesterday after we got back I was so tired that I just passed out for I think like close to three hours. Did you sleep at all? No, no, you were on your phone doing stuff Watch the hockey game Lame, but I realized I kept forgetting to update you guys on a flights of passage So James do you want to come share your thoughts? Yeah, sure. It was really cool like it blew me away um, if you've ever gone on the soaring ride here it's like that times like 50 yeah basically <laughs> like it is insane you're strapped into kind of or like you're enclosed in this little booth that's around like your lower half so you're supposed to be able to like feel the banshee breathing and stuff like that and it's just super intense there was this one part where you dive down and you're going to the water and this huge like Pandora whale jumps out of the water and then you go through the curl of a tidal wave and it is just so insane. Even on Soren, that ride kind of freaks me out a little bit so this was even scarier. Like it was pretty intense, hey? Yeah, it was. I thought the coolest part though probably was the way they like transitioned you from being in this room to all of a sudden being flying through Pandora just like you were linked to the Avatar. Definitely if you are booking far enough in advance and you're staying at a Disney resort, definitely get up early 60 days in advance and book your fast passes for it because it was definitely worth it. But anyways, like I said, that's where I'm going to end this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you are excited for part two, go follow me on social media. I'm at Sari Rihanna on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe down below if you are new, but we will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.